I'm Professor Lee Berger. I'm a research professor in the Evolutionary Studies Institute at the University of Witwatersrand, an explorer in residence at National Geographic. And I'm here to introduce to you a new species of early human ancestor called Homo naledi. Homo naledi was discovered in 2013 by teams here in the Rising Star System in a chamber that we've named the Dinaledi Chamber, or Chamber of Stars. It is the most significant and extensive discovery of early human relatives of fossils ever made on the continent of Africa. More than 1,550 remains, representing more than 15 individuals from infants to babies to toddlers to tweens, teenagers, young adults, adults, and, and elderly. Uh, the species is remarkable. It's got a tiny brain, uh, barely larger than an orange, with small teeth, but that are primitive in shape. Staying across a relatively tall body, maybe a meter and a half tall, in the males at least, females about 1.4, 1.45 meters, skinny, with human-like arms, but a ape-like thorax and chest with a very primitive pelvis. The hands are a mix between very, very advanced human-like hands, but the fingers are, are curved, like very, very primitive ancient human ancestors. From mid-thigh down, it looks like a human. Long legs, human-like feet. Really a combination that we've never seen before in the fossil record. And I suppose most surprising is what they were doing in this chamber. Um, my colleagues and I from around the world have studied these fossils for more than two years, studied their context, and we've come to the conclusion that this species of non-human hominin was deliberately disposing of its dead, taking the dangerous journey into this deep chamber to place its dead or drop its dead into a place inaccessible uh, by any other. Something that prior to this we thought was unique to humans and in fact maybe identified us. Now it doesn't.